Okay, okay. Hello, hello everyone. everyone. Hi, Hi Anna. Anna. Gonna see, see if I can get, get this back, back here. here. And hopefully, hopefully I'm not, not um, making, making all, all of you... you... Oopsie, Oopsie, that's, that's not, not what I meant to do either. either. It's, it's all, all these, these little different things, things that I have, have to get, get going. going. To, to make, make sure, sure that, that I can, can see everything. everything. And, and that's, that's not, not it. it. Come on. How, How is, is everyone, everyone tonight? tonight? I have to excuse me, this is a little bit awkward. There, that should work. Okay, everyone. Let me know if you can see me. It should, should be, be working, working now. now. I'm a bit okay. echoey. Okay. just adjust here. Is it better if I am closer to the mic? Okay. How's that working for everybody now? I think I've turned off, I'm not double doubling up. I think I've turned off the YouTube, which is always good. Um, and not, not making a lot of extra noise. So I think that's good. Um, you'll probably be able to see tonight, I'm working in a slightly different way than I did the last time. And I'm down on the floor and I've got this lovely thing here with the camera overhead. And so it means that I have very little elbow room, unfortunately. And so we are just going to be working on how I can make sure that I can get that. And we're going to just work on getting more of the painting in there. Come on. I have a really bad problem in trying to get things turned around. There we are. I can't do opposites, obviously. Okay, so here's the painting tonight. Um, I did add a few things from when I gave you the picture. Uh, when was the picture? Yesterday? Is it only yesterday? And then I did send slight instructions today. Um, and you'll kind of understand them more as we go along. I apparently do not have anything to wipe that off on. I did a, as I was pouring paint the last time, I decided that I would wipe paint off on my apron, thinking I was being very smart. And it turns out that the paint got on my jeans. So I'm trying to avoid that this time. Okay, so as you can see where we're at with all of this, um, as I said to a lot of you, this background is a lot of different colors, unfortunately, as I was trying out different things, and then I tried to paint it back to white, and I just did not succeed totally. We're going to try something a little different today in terms of uh, how I was trying to do it, but we're going to do it with the black and the white and see how that works. Black, white, and using some paper towels to get a bit of um, a an effect. So we'll be doing this kind of thing. So we're going to do the background first. 
and I can't remember whether I put that on the instructions or not, sorry. You may not need to add them if, uh, if you're looking for instructions for later. Okay, so the first thing I did ask you to do is to, if you got the kits and my emails, you'll see that I did ask you to already put on the background here uh, to draw. All right, words, words, people, words, pattern on, draw the, the pattern on. And so I have drawn my pattern on very quickly because I did it just before class. And so if you haven't had a chance to do that, um, grab your pattern and pop it on. You'll notice that the pattern over here is um, the pattern was put right to the edge here and not quite right to the edge down at the bottom. I did move it up a little bit and then just extended the line. This portion you'll only have gotten to there and you just have to finish the hat off. Okay, makes sense to everybody? So I'm going to show you how to do the background and then we will see how it works. And believe me, if you want to do something totally different with your background, please go ahead and do it. Um, it looked really quite nice when I did the light pink up over here. And it that just did not work out this, this time, unfortunately. Just realized that this, I think I angled it a little bit more when I put that pattern on. So it happens when you do it quickly. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we're going to start down in this area here. Uh, we do want to be somewhat careful about, this is just water, by the way. Um, we do want to be somewhat careful about going over into the other areas. For the most part, we're going to be painting over them, and that's not going to be a real issue, but because it's black and white, it can be a bit of an issue so we're going to have to be just a little bit careful so i am just i'm just going to show you here this is how i'm going to be doing a lot of my stuff tonight is um just taking a little bit of the color that i want kind of mixing it in there not taking you know normally i'd have you get the palette knife and mix the color up and just make sure everything was done but we're not going to do that tonight so so I want this fairly watery, okay? And I will just be very careful. Ish. About going around. I can always finish it off a little bit uh, later. I'm not too worried about the gloves, by the way, if they get a bit off because we're doing a real dark color there to start. Okay, so I've got that. We're just going to see how this works out. I mean, if you absolutely hate it, feel free not to do it. I want it more gray than black. And as you can see, it's quite watery. Let me add a little bit of black there to it in various areas, just to get a bit of contrast here and there. Then you're going to bunch up your paper towel. And just very lightly turning it just so it's not the same start taking some of that off. And this is where you have to be somewhat careful when you're over here, like by the nose and some of that kind of stuff. As I said, the gloves, I'm not worried about. Okay. So on my end, this looks pretty good. This 
kind of achieves the effect that I want. If it doesn't do it for you, please don't bother. It's not, you know, an overly important part of the painting. Of course, up here, because I moved my silly pattern, I have a little bit over here that I have to do. And just remember, the hat's black, so it really doesn't matter whether you go over it with this. For the rest of it, whoopsie, for the rest of it, we're not too concerned. So I'm just going to turn this upside down. Do the same kind of thing, get some water on there, which of course now is almost the gray anyway. because I have leftovers in the water and some other stuff. I hear when I came in just oh, not too long ago, because I worked from home this afternoon, I hear that it is now very windy out there. And the latest advisory says that we are expecting snow. So I hope you all haven't planted your plants already. My mother was a great gardener. And unfortunately, I did not get that gene. So I don't do a lot of it. I just hope the plants I buy, I keep alive until August or so. But I do like my uh, herbs, which, you know, if I become, if I would cook more, would probably get used more. All right, oops, I took probably a bit too much off there. I'll go back. Yeah, I think I've taken way too much off there. I'm going to go back and do it again. Although it does give quite the look. I mean, maybe I should go back and change that up. And just a couple of things that we've got coming up soon for the summer. Um, it's Red Deer Reads year, and we will be making the uh, shortlist announcement next week. And we're doing something a little different this year. We're hoping to get the authors, all the authors of the three shortlisted books, to do a Zoom. And each book has a champion, and the champion will be part of the Zoom after the author is on, and will be championing the book and telling me why they think it's the best book for Red Deer to read. So, got some exciting stuff happening there, and the final, of course, uh, October as usual. 
and I don't know whether or not but we're really, really hoping we can do something in person, so we'll see. In person would be very exciting. And of course, coming up very shortly is our summer reading program. And don't forget, we have an adult summer reading program. Yes, Red Deer Reads. We've done it for, do you know what? I can't remember when our first one is, was. We've had four or five of them and we choose, you know, a short list, and then we choose the book that Red Deer will read. And it's usually, you know, I mean, previous to this, we've had some in-person pizza parties to announce the short list and done some exciting things like that. But, of course, we can't do that this year, so we're looking at different ways. So what will happen is that uh, we choose one book with Red Deer Reads and um, we like to have as many people as possible in the community read it that want to read it. And then we have an author visit. The uh, author comes and talks about their book. Um, we've had it uh, upstairs on level four for the last one. We've had bigger ones over in the, um, oh, I'm not going to be able to say it right, so I'm not even going to do it, at the theater down, down the way. And it's really, it's a big production. It's really cool. So hopefully we can have an in-person one this year. We'll see. If not, we'll do a big Zoom one. Everybody can sit around in their pajamas and uh, have a drink and... We will have listened to the author speak. So stay tuned, of course, on our uh, social media and our website. So the next thing we are going to do is going to be the flesh. Okay. Oh, and by the way, you will notice that I have a line here. It's just under the, this is the neck. And this portion is actually the hand. Lois told me it was missing yesterday. And uh, it was just very faintly on there. So that's what you will see is that you will see that you were looking for the hand. It's the palm there. But we will start out with the flesh. And with the flesh, I found this color um, just a little bit dark for my liking. And um, so we are going to uh, mix it a little bit with the white. So I'm just going to just be very careful you're not dragging your white um, into the black there. And it's really very little. And don't worry about it being the same color or anything like that. I mean, look at my poor skin, you know. I mean, it's all different colors all over the place. It's very few people, unless you've got you know, full makeup on and everything else, you know, there's the lights, the shadows, everything goes uh, through there. So we are going to start painting that, and if you find it too light or too dark, just go back in and add some. And yes, summer reading program, there are prizes for the adult portion and the kids portion and the teen portion of the summer reading program. 
So that should be announced in social media and on our website soon. I think and starts June 1st this year. I'm just going to add a little bit more white here as I'm doing it. And you notice that I just kind of pop back in. Not really worried about a complete the, uh, the same color all the way through. Oh, yes, you're right. I forgot the background between the uh, hand and the neck. Silly me. I will do that uh, when we get this done here. You'll have to use like a smaller brush like this one and really twist up your um, paper towel. I just want to get this paint off here and then I'll do it. go back in there and do this a little bit. Too much off again. stop playing with that now. <laughs> Otherwise, it will not be a good thing. Now, I will probably go back. When I'm looking at this, I find that we don't have a lot of the lights and the darks and some of this other stuff yet, of course, and I'm wanting to maybe add a little bit more white, but I want it to dry a little bit, okay? Um, if you, of course, have your um, hair dryer out, you can do that, or you can just uh, do as I'm doing here and go on to the arm. When I was doing the arm as well, um, the portion that I'm going to want to really concentrate on for lightness will be right here on the shoulder, of course and then dark along this area. And I'm going to try and get that right to the edge. I made this um, awfully dark. 
think some of this is not going to completely cover, I don't think. I also made mine, it wasn't totally intentional, but I made it quite a bit streaky, and then I liked the look. So if that's something you want to do, you can certainly do that. Maybe the way I end up going as well. I had another, I came in on Thursday or Friday to get the camera and everything set up because, of course, after having the problems that we've had in the past, I'm a little leery. So I often want to make sure that the cameras are going and everything works and I have the stream key and all of that kind of good stuff. Well, and of course, the cameras didn't work again, the overhead one. So thank goodness we have an IT department that got everything working for me. And they're going to show me how to set up the camera just in case that happens again. I'm liking the look of this arm. I'm going to let it dry a bit because I will want to um, come back in a little bit more with some colors, including the, uh, the burnt umber, which will be mixed with the pink. We don't use that just straight off. Now, some of you have got a, actually most of you have a mix of the burnt umber because I forgot it at home when I was pouring paint, so I did a mixture. So just make sure that you that that looks well mixed in your particular uh, package, and give it a mix if it's if it's not. going to go back in a little bit, just adding some white a little bit more on top. When I did the first painting, I um, had her dress down lower, and it looked really cool, which is also when I discovered that having to figure out how to tell you how to paint the scapula and the backbone and everything else was not, I was not going to be up to that. So she has a higher back.
All right. I think the face got quite dark there. I may just have to go back and lighten it up. Funny, the face didn't go on quite so smooth for me as the rest of it did. And I better stop playing too much on that face because I'm starting to lift up the color. back over here. Let's try to put the highlight in there. This is, of course, the last uh, painting class of the season. Let's see how everything goes in September. And June, I had hoped to do the book folding class. And Um, I had to put that off until September, just because of other things going on. So that will be coming up sometime in the fall season. just got a message that says liking this so far so that's good to hear okay so a uh, question about highlights and the shading okay this area here is going to be highlighted so you're going to put more white in there and now what we're going to do um, I think we're okay to do it is we're going to put the shading all up along here all right so I'm going to take again very little and by the way my burnt umber is very it's an old burnt umber obviously it's it's hard to work with so so I'm going to just take a little bit of that and darken that up. Don't start with too much because you don't want too much. Okay, just a little bit of that darker color. And now that I did that, 
I just have to get it on the side here. You just want to take it, when you're doing your uh, shading, you're trying to just get a little bit on the corner of an angle brush or a flat brush, okay? So you're just trying to, it's hard to show you this here, trying to get just a little bit on the corner so that it fades away and you don't have a harsh line. Now it's hard to see, I bet, but there is, I am getting some color there. Now, once you finish that area, I think I went a little too far. Actually, the, the hand uh, here is under the shoulder, so you don't have to worry about putting highlights up here. Instead, you would probably have a little bit of, or a shading, I meant. You would have a little bit of the highlight. it's just peeping up there and then a little bit of a highlight just along here and that will be the white and the color Ugh. and of course I didn't clean my brush well enough so I got a bit of the brown also I picked the wrong brush it's one of them that should probably be replaced Okay, for the neck area, or the back, you're just going to put the highlights right along this area here, and then along underneath the hat. And again, what you'll be using there is the Burnt Umber, and a little bit of the take that off the end. All right, see if that works for me. All right, so I'm just going to, whoops, that's quite a bit of color there. See, should have followed my first instinct. There we go. I just wanted to fling that out just a little bit more than what we have there.
And then once you're happy with it, as it goes around here, again, we'll go back around here. Now, I'm really not sure why my face did not turn out quite the way I wanted it to, but I'm going to do something to see if I can fix that as soon as I'm finished with this. portion here. So of course under the chin And just continue to go back to, if you're finding something is just not looking right to you, and go back. I just want to hit this portion of it. Okay, let's see if we can fix this face. Okay, apparently I could play all day and I'm not sure how, how well I would do. So what we are going to do is a couple of the different shading things we have to do on this face. Up here under the nose, up into this area here. I don't know if you can actually see. There we go. Uh, up, up there. All right. To do just a tiny bit around there and then of course underneath here you have to just be careful of how light and dark this is at this
Okay. So we're just going to do this just a little bit. got a little bit darker than I wanted, so I'm just going to come back in and then adjust that a little bit. Just very carefully along here. Don't really want a lot of a shadow along there. Otherwise, it'll look like she has a mustache. But you just want the lips to be able to pop out. And of course, your chin. We'll have a bit of highlight. And the tip of your nose will have a little bit of highlight. And of course, the nostril will have a bit of shade. Very light. I at one point tried to put blush on her and that was a complete and utter failure so no blush I'm just going to go back a little bit 
underneath here. So I need more shadow under there. The other thing she actually needs, because she's turning her head, is just some very faint wrinkles, if you want to add them. Give the idea that she's turning the head that way, because as soon as you do that, everything wrinkles. going to do a quick little experiment here. Yeah, that's going to work. Ooh, um, in the instructions, I said we may put the flesh color underneath. And um, because I couldn't remember what I did on this one. But I think that I just went with the white and it worked. And I think it will. Now, something to notice when you are painting your lips or looking at them or doing anything, and this is something I noticed in a lot of photographs, is when you're looking at that, especially women's with the lipstick and everything, it looks like a heart. And so that's what you'll see on there is it's that sideways heart with a bit of a tilt up or tilt down or however you might want to to do it. In this case, she's got a bit of a tilt up. So, very carefully paint that. There are a few brushes that just need to be retired. first painting I did, I looked down after I did this and I went, oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, this uh, 
painting had quite a lot of lip. It was very long. I think I had it back here more. It looked a little funny. Just give her a little lip. Maybe not. The lip does not want to flip upward. starting to look like I do when I put on lipstick. Okay. I'm just going to um, let that dry just a little bit and start in on the gloves. Let's just do a check-in as well and see how everybody is doing. Pop something in the comments or text me or message me if you can't get onto the comments. Check, see if there's any messages. Okay. So far, so good. Perfect. So for the bow, which we'll do last, and the gloves, uh, we are going to do a little bit of something different because, of course, very often red is problematic um, in that it doesn't give the right color unless you have something under it. And sometimes I have people paint white under things in order to put the red on top so that the red isn't so transparent <laughs> excuse me and more opaque this we're going to do a little bit differently and then we're going to take a little tiny bit of the black and the red together and get it really quite dark more red than black I started off with it just too much black, so just be careful of that. Okay. 
now that I've made a mess of my brush. Don't make a mess. I'm going to paint the gloves along with the palm there, of course. And of course, I chose to do the gloves for a couple of reasons. Okay, one reason. In that, that way I didn't have to do fingers. So if you're very brave and you want to just do the hand, just do it with the light pink. And just remember to give them fingernails and maybe some fancy nail polish. I will say too, I like the idea of the gloves, the very fancy hat and gloves and reminds me of dancing days. A few of you on here that I met during dancing times. Nowadays I get up and I groan because my bones hurt. You'll notice I'm, I am trying a little bit to just paint the fingers. It just helps me. To determine where everything is, whereas if I just painted it, I'd have to go back over it again and try and figure out where everything is at. Now we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. Turn it around this way, just to get back in here. Yesterday, I went to, virtually of course, a high tea, which HarperCollins does every few months with authors. And the authors all get dressed up in some fashion, some with fascinators. Um, and they all talk about their books. Yesterday's was uh, Janie Chang with Library of Legends. She was the moderator. 
so she didn't talk about her book as much. And um, Kate Quinn with The Rose Code, which is a huge 600-page book. And I'm a fast reader, and I started that in the morning, and I read it in one day, and nothing else got done. And the other one was Pat Jenoff in her new book, which I just, I never did quite get the title of it. But I'm sure we've got it coming in. I think you can find out about some of these on their um, Facebook page and Instagram under HarperCollins. And I think you can actually see the old ones as well. Okay, I'm going to take this same mix. And we're, I'm going to go back to the lips for just a bit. And very carefully... I don't want to make it really dark, just make the lip line. So that it looks like she has two lips. And yes, Anna, I love a great uh, fascinator. I actually am going to a wedding in the summer. And by going to a wedding, I mean I'm going virtually to a wedding in the summer. Um, because, of course, they just, they decided it. Uh, well, they had to make a decision about what to do. And with all the restrictions, they just decided that there's no way that they're going to be having any more than 10. So they invited a whole bunch of the friends on, uh, on Zoom. So I told the groom's mother, who's my best friend, that... Um, I would be wearing a fascinator because, of course, if I'd gone to the wedding, I would have worn a fascinator. I wore one to my daughter's wedding to get some use out of these things. Yesterday, I did not wear a fascinator because I had forgotten about this and I was still in my pajamas. All right, so we are going to go back. And we are going to take straight red now, just straight red, and just go over again. But this time what I want you to do is be very careful to leave some of the dark spaces where it, between the fingers so that we have natural shading already. And that way you don't have to go back and do it. So you can just leave a slight line. And, you know, definitely, if you have to go back in after, you can.
Okay, and I'm just going to let that dry just for a little bit, although I th there's a couple of places I'm just going to go through. I do want a little bit more black along here, the black and red mix. Maybe a little bit more black. Just to give it that. delineation and that lovely shading. So if you're finding areas that just didn't quite do it, you can just go back in. Just be careful if you're like me, you're picking up just black and that's not good. Just want to make sure that right around the fingers there you've got some shading just to really make them pop. Don't do that. And don't do that. Don't be as messy as me. Now, what we're going to have to make sure that we do is just to pop a little bit more, and I needed to pop it a little more here, with a little white and um, red. Take a little bit of white and red. Still want a lot of the, the red in it, though, not so much the white but enough that you can get just a slight highlight up there. So it looks like there's some light bouncing off of it. And then you can just do the same, you know, sort of where bends would be in the fingers. So it makes it look like, you know, you've got your bends. They don't have to show up really well just to give them that look. And if, I, if you find them too white, you can always go back in with just a bit of red. And just a bit of that white and red on this edge here too. Okay. Actually, I do want a little bit more red on there. This. 
So next on the agenda, we're going to paint some hats. And here, the dress. Just, of course, loading up my brush just by putting the edge in here, mixing it in there. Just going to get rid of some of the paint on here. The brush might be a little dry. Sometimes with these canvases from Michaels as well. Uh, I find that you have to have just a slightly wetter brush to get the paint flowing. Hate it when your hand jigs. It shouldn't. My hand tonight is having trouble staying steady. Actually, my hand always has trouble staying steady. There we go. It likes to do what it wants, especially if I'm trying to draw a straight line. Okay, yeah, see? I go and do something like that. So we'll let that dry. We'll probably put a second coat on it. And we'll start with our hat.
we just want to be careful when we come down, of course, across the face. Get it down there. By the way, for anybody that is new on here and is wondering about a way to finish their piece off, you can um, uh, paint the sides a black or something like that if you just want to hang it up this way without a frame. If you're going to hang it up. going to hide it in your closet after you're finished, then you don't need to worry about that. I do have a few of these hung up in my office now. I was using the, um, there was somebody there before me and they had pictures up and I tried to use some of the original stuff so I wasn't putting any more holes in the wall. However, that means some of the paintings look a little funny where they're hanging, so I may have to change that.
Okay. Go back and take a look back here. Try to smooth out some of the color. At least I need to smooth out some of the color. All right, how is everybody doing? You had fun, Jacqueline? She may have left already. She's off to a virtual class. Another one. It is amazing how much more we can do these days from home. Letting some of this dry just for a second. Just going to put a bit of a highlight right there. And go back into the lips just a little teensy bit of white just to give it a bit of a highlight right there. Not right there where it wants to. Look, there's something there. Let me put a little bit of red back in. Take a look at your painting, just 
check a lot of the spots that you might need to just fix up for a minute there. Okay, we're going to do the same method using the black with the red. I'm just going to switch out water here. Definitely have a dry canvas tonight. Flopping and flopping, sorry, I can't. Just paint it all one way.
might be really good. I think I've, I've got this breeze coming down on me, which is probably helping to dry my paint. We have a few people who are doing their Monday night exercise class. Which could be our exercise class, our yoga class, because we do have one, but you can sign up for free to run for till June, and I think she's changing it to Wednesday. Now, the good thing is if anybody has to rush off to meetings or exercise class or anything, this is being recorded, we hope, yes. And you'll be able to see it later. So this is where we are so far. So it also looks like this doesn't have the black all the way to the edge. It is kind of, but then it just doesn't go over. So I'm going to fix that. So it looks like the hat's going down. It's amazing what happens is I've often told you if you don't like a piece, you know, step away from it or take a picture of it and then you can see where things are going with it. May have made that too up there, but yep, that's okay. Okay. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go back as soon as this is dry and we're going to um, do some highlighting up here, kind of around and just in through there just to pop out some colors. This 
so I might just take this over and dry it. Maybe I'll play for just a second more. Really seem to want to add more red to these. Gloves here. Check on our time too. And we are doing quite well. Just going to darken a couple of spaces here. which I may, may, may regret. might be okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, the red, bright red, and of course what would happen with bows is you've got the tucks, right? So you're going to do a tuck right there. And a tuck right there. another tuck there. Now I'm using the big brush but you can use a smaller one too. If you use a smaller one you can just, whoopsie, just uh, take it on the edge just like that and do the tucks. Yeah, should have dried it. So we're going to kind of build that up just a little bit, and then we're going to add a little bit of white. Not have very much room left on my palette anymore. That should, side should definitely have been dried. I'm just going to end up taking paint off it, I'm sure. Just have to be very careful.
And you can also, because I did go back with the red, it just realized, is uh, just take some more red and go back over. Just leaving those dark spots where the tucks would be. Thanks, Gladys. Okay, so you basically have the idea here. And I'll just finish up some of this for the next few minutes. But I know some of you probably have to go. I'll just do some finishing touches here and there. On this particular one, I did go back and just add a bit of lighter color around here and around here using a gray, by the way. So I'll do a bit of that because we have time. Next time I say to myself, yeah, I just go dry it. I better go dry it. It'll be fine for this painting, but uh, I should have gone and dried it. Leave the corners on the side there so that you can see the dark. So what I mean by just doing some a little bit of highlighting if you want to is just take a bit of the white, a bit of the black, here up more of the white. Get really kind of still a dark 
dark, dark, dark color. Oh, you didn't see it there, yeah. And just do a little bit. That's nah, not a little bit. A little bit just around the corners, around the edges. I'll be taking off half of that. Apparently that wasn't as dry as it was, so I'm just going to be picking up color. That's just to give it a little bit of highlight just at the edges. And you don't have to do that. just up along the top here just a little bit. Okay, and then just go back and check where else you might need to pop anything up. Color. And everything. And look at that, we've been finished in actually two, less than two hours. So is there anything else that anybody needs? Questions? I don't want to go if uh, you have some questions. play with the edges of this. All doing good? Okay, well that's great. If there are no other questions and everybody is doing well and they can just poke away on its own, on your own. If you have any questions, certainly free fill to email me, send me pictures of um, yours, if you don't mind me including it in board reports. Um, and that's a wrap then for this evening and hopefully we will see you all in September um, and hopefully by the end of the year we can go back to some in-person classes which I think would be just great so good night everyone have a great night. I'm going to stop the recording and stop the streaming now. And have a great summer. And we will see.
see you all in the fall.